we've already talked about all the best bets on the table, the pass, the come, the don't pass, the don't, um, the don't come, always backed up with the odds. So those are all the best bets on the table. All you really need to know about craps is, is with those bets right there. If you just bet that, you'll be in great shape. However, there's still lots of other bets at the table which are not as good. Some of them are called place bets, so let's talk about those next. Those are generally not made on a come out roll, so let's make a pass line bet and wait for you to roll a, a, a point, and then we'll make some place bets. All right. Five, no field five. Let's back up the uh, pass line bet with a $20 odds bet, and now let's make some place bets. Okay, what a place bet is, is a bet that you're going to roll any one of these numbers that you choose before a seven. Um, let's start with making place bets on the six and the eight. Those pay seven to six odds, so you should bet in increments of six dollars. So um, let's bet six dollars on each of the six and the eight. And these bets you, um, you put in the come area and you have to tell the dealer what you want to do. So you would say, place the six and the eight. Now let's also make one on the nine. So the place bet on the nine pays seven to five, so those should be div evenly divisible by five dollars. So let's make a five dollar place bet on the nine. Place the nine. So we're not gonna place the five because we already are gonna win on that with the pass line bet, although we technically would be allowed to. Now let's also place the four and the 10. Those pay nine to five odds, so those should be divisible by five. She can put 10 and say, mm -hmm. give me the four and the 10. Yeah, and it would be implied that she's uh, betting on both of them e equally. Okay, give me the four and the 10 again. Okay, you are set up on okay. the four and so the 10. Okay, so now we have covered all of the place numbers, all of the registers, so um, if, if you roll a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10, we will win one of those bets, it's now the seven that is the dreaded number and will cause everything to lose. So stay away from the seven. <laughs> ten, ten. So our place bet on the um, ten wins, that's going to pay nine to five, so you just won nine bucks. All right, and the dealer cuts out nine in the come and hands it off to the player. And the dealer assumes that you want to keep that place bet up there. So he only paid you the winnings. He didn't return your original wager. He assumed you want to remake it. At any time, you can say, take these place bets down. Once you make them, they're not locked in stone. You can remove them at any time. But okay. we're going to stay up there. So just stay away from that seven. Your 11, pay the come, pay the field. So nothing happens with that to us. Four easy. We just won nine dollars on our four. Eight the hard way. The six dollar bet on the eight pays seven. So, and you're still shooting. All right. Two crap aces come away, double the field. Okay, that, that means nothing to us. Nine center. Another winner. So our nine pays seven to five odds, so you just win seven dollars. So notice how you just keep raking in money as long <laughs> as you stay away from that seven. Exactly. The hot roll. Five, no field five. We just won on our pass line bet. That's our big bet too. So the 20 pays 30 and the five pays five. Okay, so it's a new pass line bet, and as I was explaining earlier, on a come out roll, sevens are bad. So there's three kinds of bets that get turned off automatically on a come out roll. Place bets, odds on come bets, and buy bets, and I'll explain buy bets next. So right now, uh, the pressure is off. If you roll a seven, it's actually going to be good because the pass line will win and all those bets will um, we'll just stay on the table. Five, no field, relight the five. Okay, relight the five with a $20 odds bet. 
and now all of our place bets are suddenly working again, so stay away from that seven. Eight the hard way. Our six dollar bet just won seven. Seven oh, out no. right away. Oh, we lost everything, but you still did well. <laughs> Our stacks keep growing. It's all right, we still have enough for dinner. <laughs> okay. Angela, next I'm going to teach you about buy bets. Buy bets are just like place bets, but they pay different odds. The way it works is that they pay statistically fair odds like an odds bet, except you have to pay a 5% commission on the amount of your bet. Mathematically speaking, you're better off making place bets on the 5, 6, 8, and 9. So the only time you should even consider making a buy bet is on the 4 and the 10. Fair odds are 2 to 1. However, you generally pay the 5% commission on, a, on wins only. So it's going to be like getting paid 19 to 10 odds, which is better than the 9 to 5 odds on the place bet. And I know it sounds confusing, <laughs> but trust me, if you're going to be making place bets, don't make them on the 4 and the 10, make buy bets instead. So let's demonstrate the buy bets. It's a new come out roll. Um, it's traditional in craps to always make um, a line bet, meaning a pass or a don't pass bet, but since you're the shooter, it's mandatory. So let's make a pass line bet. Come out roll. Four. four. These are the four. Okay, so out of habit, let's make an odds bet. $15 on your four. So we already covered the four with this. So now let's make a buy bet on the 10. So as I was saying before, buy bets pay 19 to 10 odds so if you don't want to lose anything on the rounding because um, in, in every game they always round down you should make buy bets in in even increments of twenty dollars so let's bet twenty dollars on the ten buying the ten for twenty is what she would say and i would set her up and i would put a buy lammer on it let them know it's a buy bet. So try to roll a 4 or a 10 and stay away from the 7. Alright, no 7. 10 the hey, hard hey. way! Hey. So your first buy bet ever wins. I would cut out $40. It pays 2 to 1 minus a commission, so there's $40, 25, and 15 for 40. On the $20 bet, the commission is a dollar, so I'd say, ma'am, drop a dollar. And I would hand this off to her and so to summarize, her $20 buy bet paid 2 to 1 odds minus 5% commission. So 2 times 20 is 40. She owed $1 commission because 5% of 20 is 1. So she just won $39. Exactly. So that's pretty much all there is about the buy bets. I would like to add that let's say Angela was uncomfortable betting $20 um, on the 10. Let's say that she was comfortable with 10. Um, she could do that. That $10 is going to pay $9.50 if it wins, but you always round down to the nearest dollar, so that win is going to round down to $19. However, what if she made a place bet of $10? That's gonna, that would pay 9 to 5 or a total win of $18. What's more, 19 or 18? The 19. So even though you're losing 50 cents due to the rounding, you're still better off making a buy bet um, on the four and the ten as long as you're at least betting ten bucks. Right, Dan? Did Absolutely. I have that right? Absolutely. You have it perfect. Okay. I think that that covers buy bets.